Today I want to show you guys this cool trick of uh, being able to sweep an arpeggio and then tap some higher notes on top of it. So the arpeggio is basically just a major 7 arpeggio as the basis for this exercise. I'm starting here at the ninth fret on the 4th string with my pinky and got this pretty easy pattern, this fingering that is 9, 8, 7, 6. Basically just a major 7 chord right there so that's a b major seven so then when i get to the top of that arpeggio i am hammering on to the seventh fret with my middle finger and then i'm also going to toggle with my pinky at the ninth fret hey now would be a great time to go ahead and smash that like button for me and don't forget to like and subscribe to joseph hansen guitar studio hit the bell notification so you get updates when the next video comes out Tapping positions for this for your right tapping finger are going to be at the 11th and the 13th fret. So the way this sequence works is I will sweep through, hammer on 7, tap 11. And then after I pull the tap off, pull off the 7, hammer on to 13 and then have my pinky in place so that when I pull off the tap my pinky's already at 9. And then I go back to tap 11 and pull off to 7. Hammer on 7, tap 11, pull off tap, pull off 7, tap 13, Pull off to a nine with my pinky. Now for the sweeping portion of this, to be able to get your tapping hand in position, it'll make more sense to sweep your arpeggio over the fretboard here. So it might take a little bit of practice to get used to sweep picking over the fingerboard as opposed to the more traditional place to sweep an arpeggio. Okay, when you do that, that allows you to get your tapping fingers in position a lot quicker than trying to. I mean, it can be done, but it's a lot more work to get your fingers back into position to tap those higher notes. So with a little bit of practice, and you'll notice that I tap with my middle finger instead of my pointer finger. That way I can maintain the sweep a lot easier like that. Everybody's got their own tapping technique and their own sweep picking technique. This is just yet my way of doing it. So once you get that basic pattern down in that position, you would then just simply move up four frets. So basically where your pinky is, your pointer is now going to be at nine and your pinky would be at 12. The tapping sequence also moves up a minor third or four frets higher. So as I tap, as I sweep here, I'm going to tap to 14 and 16. Then that sequence moves up another four frets. So I'm right here starting on 15 with my pinky, tapping to 17 and then 19. From there, I'm going to move up to the 18th fret with my pinky. And then I'm going to tap at 20 and 22. Now, there are other variations to this that you can come up with if you get creative with it. One of the alternatives would be to just sweep, tap, sweep back down, sweep, tap, the higher note. The 
The version I was using first was... most definitely a more advanced technique so you should already be proficient with basic sweet picking of arpeggios as well as basic finger tapping techniques if you find that as you're working on this any of these sweeps and taps you might find that your sweet picking is strong but your finger tapping needs a little bit of work isolate just the finger tapping portion of it break these patterns down into bite-sized little chunks that are easy to practice, memorize, and learn. That way, when you start to try to play the sequences together, they'll go a lot smoother. Now, that's just one type of arpeggio. Any of your favorite arpeggios can be used with this technique. Let me know what you guys think by leaving a comment down below. And if you got any questions regarding these techniques, just let me know and I'll be glad to answer those questions. So when you're working on these, go slow at first. It takes time to get both hands synchronized to this kind of advanced technique. Um, with a little bit of practice though, you'll find other arpeggios and notes that you can tap to come up with some pretty creative things. So next time you're ripping a guitar solo, try one of these techniques out. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down there. Also, like and subscribe to Joseph Hansen Guitar Studio right here. Check out a few other videos from the playlist over here. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Keep rocking on.